Would it be something if an ER does not have anti-venom in stock that they would automatically have protocols to fly you up by helicopter to some place that does? Yeah, so certainly if, um, if, an, if you went to a small, and this is a dangerous area because if you went to a small ER and they didn't have anti-venom and you had to be trans transported, I mean, certainly the patient could deteriorate en route. And that's why I think these, even these small emergency departments around like North Carolina, they should have anti-venom because the quicker the better, generally speaking. And especially with a rattlesnake bite, I mean, you can, you can think, uh, we can show you a video clip of a rattlesnake bite and you can see how severely bad it can get quickly. This, this video clip, when you're, when you're ready to cue it up and show it, will show you one of the worst rattlesnake bites I've ever seen. And this guy was like this within like five minutes of being bitten by a, a, about a three foot long rattlesnake. Which so, is about the size of the snake that I saw today. Yeah. 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 And here's that clip I was talking about of that really bad rattlesnake bite. This was back when we were do ven doing Venom ER. And there's the puncture wound on his finger. And I don't know, I don't guess you can hear the audio, but <clears throat> this guy was bitten by a rattlesnake when in five minutes he was totally incapacitated, having trouble bre breathing, bleeding all over, sweating profusely. He was bleeding from his nose. He couldn't breathe, so we had to put a tube down his throat. And then he's having these muscle fasciculations, twitching all up and down his legs. And these are uncontrolled fasciculations. Uncontrolled yeah. fasciculations, yep. So all that muscle twitching. And he did that for days. He did that for days, yeah. And this is with somebody who got urgent care pretty quickly? He, yeah, I mean, they immediately called 911. And I was saying right there that it's the worst snake bite I had ever seen, you know? And you can see. Now he, he, he bled everywhere except for into his brain and he survived and he did well. But I show the video clip because just to show you how bad it can get quickly and it's better to find that out at the hospital rather than you know, trying to drive to the hospital through traffic or whatever. That's why I say call 911. Right.